Included with the 2011 free update are some mini designs and frames. Let's just have a look at some mini designs. We go to the motif tab. We can now see the child style one mini designs which come free with the update. We've also slightly changed how we work with mini designs. If we select for instance the star, make that larger. If you make it to a certain size, obviously that's a very large for satin stitches. So just like the fonts, if you do a right click, you get up the context sensitive menu. We can go to continuous satin and we can apply a pattern. Some of the mini designs respond to these right clicks. Some don't. It just depends as to what we've actually built into the pack. The ability to use the right click is not dependent on whether the person has 5D embroidery or 5D embroidery extra. It just depends as to whether we've built that added ability into the pack. Now let's have a look at the new frames, but before we do that, let's just make some lettering. So here's our lettering. Now we go to the frames tab, and you can see here the banners 1 group. We also have banners 2. The banners are made at different proportions. If you select the first one, we make sure the lettering is selected click apply and the banner is automatically put around the lettering. We just select the banner, right click, we get the properties coming up, I'm going to go to the satin line and we want the border to be just that bit bolder. Click OK and up we get a nice bolder edge. OK, so let's now just try another frame. But before we do that let's just click on our lettering to make sure it will automatically go around that. Select this one. Apply. Now you can see again the lettering is fitted into the space. Obviously with this one we have this length but it's quite wide. We can however use our control to bring this down and adjust it more to how we want. There we go. And again, let's just do a right click, satin line, and change that to 3. An example of where you may want one of the other proportioned frames or banners is if we had system underneath. So let's just try and do that. Let's just delete this, add to our 5D embroidery system, create that. Let's just go to the properties, do the alignments. So there's our lettering. Go to our frames tab, highlight our lettering. And let's just choose this one. And that's probably a bit too much. Okay, so we can just delete that frame and see how it fits in there. Again, we need to highlight the lettering. And that's much nicer. If we want, make it just that little bit smaller.